Hello. So it's ice pack double chin time. I survived the dentist. This side of my mouth is clean. This side, not yet. I hadn't been to the dentist since like early 2015. I had a bad experience with my wisdom teeth then and I haven't gone back and then I was then FND happened so then I was not certain about how well I would do and I had a consultation a few weeks ago or so and it wasn't so great all of the sounds and even just holding open the holding the x-ray bits whatever you call those things in your mouth um the exhaustion on my jaw caused me a lot of symptoms like my legs my leg was shaking and I was having involuntary movements and then the uneducated staff was like I don't know it just feels kind of invasive when you're like having to explain yourself and what your issues are and I think I got really ultra pissed a little bit today because it was like having to explain like I don't have dental anxiety. I mean, that's not why I might shake or have movements. It's strictly my nervous system has crashed and it's a sensory input. It's like a sending and a receiving of my signals. Not that I'm like afraid of being here and having, then she's like, oh, how long has that been? I'm like, well, next month's four years. And, you know, I did have like, facial movements and my leg did shake a few times and I don't mind like I had to have since I haven't been in forever and I'm terrible at taking care of my teeth because I've got bigger issues um I don't mind pain but they had to do like a uh, Novocaine because they had to do like deep cleaning um and so I'm trying to think what it was that was causing me most of the issue was I had a podcast going and so that kind of droned out a lot of sound but her tool that she used to clean the teeth was like super high pitched and squealy and that was a little bit of an issue but I really mainly had to watch out for her headlamp that was what really was killing me um so that was um I had to really keep my eyes closed but even with my eyes closed and the glasses on I still was um seeing things hi I'm doing oh yay kiddo was telling me about her bearded dragon on oh my hand hurts um on her hammock so that's cool um I've got a really bad headache from the pain in my jaw that's setting in mm, my face um god I try to lose weight but it's like I like fast food <laughs> um let's see I would say that I had the flu and since then I've been like freaking screwed I've been having like severe nerve pain down my legs and shaking like really bad like head bobble and um j j just more symptoms overall and I'm really trying to not let it freak me out because I don't have any more sick time I'm out of vacation time I've actually been considering um getting on the FMLA, which is a thing here in the States called the Family Medical Leave Act. And it's the thing that people use when they have uh, maternity leave, but you get like 12 weeks a year. It's not paid unless you have time, but you're protected. So like I might not have time available, but they can't penalize me for taking time up to 12 weeks a year. And I wouldn't get paid if I don't have the time. I think I just said that. I'm really, really, really tired. I haven't been sleeping good at all. And I think that's what's been f 
freaking me out. So anyways, I think I'm going to potentially apply for that. I know I'll get it. It's something that I feel it might be good because if anything, it just gives a peace of mind in the background to know that if for some reason I like crash, that I at least, I feel the energy like my legs are going to kick out. They're bent up right now in the fetal position and I feel like they want to like kick out from underneath me. But because of all the pain in my hips, did I tell you guys about that massage chair? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, I've had severe sciatic nerve pain both my legs since then and because of that then I was taking Advil or Aleve and Tylenol like around the clock like I'd wake up in the middle of the night like effed and have to like take a few steps ah, 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 and like get to my safe and take my meds and then doing that since I had the flu then I got a stomach ulcer so then I've been trying to cut back on those uh, NSAIDs, they leave, but then I'm like dealing with terrible pain. So it's kind of like damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But with the not sleeping and the intense pain and all my nervous system issues, and I've had a hellish work week and it's like, I still have two more really busy days before my weekend. And then two days off is just like not enough and then I'm back to the grind and I have to work like at least two 12 hour days a week and sometimes more and it's like I'm so tired and run down and I'm afraid it freaks me out like I'm gonna crash again but I don't really have that luxury my job is I don't know it's so important I mean so the house that I manage, the group home, is um, intellectually and developmentally disabled. And it's like there's five that live there. And I manage all their money and their appointments and um, all kinds of life, everything life-related. And it's like part of me now. And I can't imagine missing the work. Like if I had to miss work for some reason, I feel like it would just... pile up so much oh and then like I think it's the lack of sleep but then like my fibromyalgia pain type symptoms are like super intense like I just barely grazed my shin and it was like ah! oh my god and then my cat was like kneading my chest right here and I was like oh um I can't even it's been so intense <sighs> but I guess I'm just sharing my struggles. Um, so I, I, I would say that, oh gosh, I'm having a severe nerve pain down my shoulders today. I guess I would say my symptoms are so comparatively speaking mild compared to some of us. But like my symptoms are involuntary movements, um, super sensory sensitive to like sounds and visual things, sounds, pain. Um, I get really bad muscle spasms and nerve pain and fibromyalgia type stuff. Um, uh, fatigue. I get, I have, like I told you guys, temperature regulation issues. Uh, oh yeah, one of my old symptoms that I used to think like my shit hit the fan symptoms would be that when I close my eyes, let's see, I don't know if it'll do it right now. Um, when I close my eyes, my eyes will... So, I don't even know if you can see that. but they'll like dart back and forth. And if I were to like press on them, then they go like a mile a minute, but kind of freaks me out. I don't know. I guess it freaks me out because it's like, 
I know you guys can relate to this. It's like the, the it's, it's almost like um, um, it's really bothering me that I feel like this cheek is more pigmented than this one, but maybe it's just my positioning, which is so annoying that I'm sidetracking on this because of my stupid ADHD. Oh, this is so funny. This is my pillow. It's pink and fluffy. But that's two days in a row that I thought I just had really crazy hair. <laughs> um, what was I gonna? What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the important part that actually relates to other people, not just about me. I guess I would say that I think my, my eyes twitching. It's been twitching for like three days. You know, that whole I'm tired thing, and that sensory input of like da -da 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 -da, is like making my whole body like shake and like get all like ramped up but what I was trying to say and then I'm gonna let you go is that I think we all can relate to that almost anxiety producing like there's no end this just keeps going and there's no hope of it like going away and I, I know that there is hope and I had a doctor couple tell me that it's like one of those things that if it doesn't go away soon it's not gonna and now I'm hitting four years and I'm like yeah okay I I can relate to that and then there's like s s s seasons that are better than others but like it's just sometimes it's almost like this drowning feeling or this underwater feeling and I feel like compounded with my job I feel like super overwhelmed with like the rat race never ending aspect of things and so I've been really trying to like take things one day at a time and not freak the F out and I won't lie like most days I've woken up this week I'm like <laughs> like getting dressed like half whining and crying about having I think I'm getting too cold on the, the, the ice pack, but my, I have a terrible headache and neck ache from this whole side of my mouth hurts because they had to, I guess I got sidetracked, but I had to have like a deep cleaning where they had to numb it because I don't take care of my teeth and I had like a bunch of buildup, tartar buildup that they had to clean out and so my whole mouth hurts so bad and I'm afraid that because of FND and sensitive where the F is this glitter coming from but it's pissing me off I don't like glitter I think my kid used my makeup brush and now it's like got on me but um see oh my god no but I'm so annoying. I'm sorry. I don't know why you guys watch these stupid videos. But I'm trying really hard. Dentist. Cleaning. Mm. This is where I'd be like, here, commercial break. Do, 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 do. Um, I have no idea. Oh well, sorry. <laughs> Feel free to tell me how annoying I am in the comments, but I'm not good at short videos either, and I'm not terribly like driven by a point other than just like, you're not alone. And you can do it and keep going and take it a day at a time. And, anyways. <laughs> I'm really annoyed now that I can't remember what I was saying, but glitter. That's all that happened. That's all I remember now was that something, something, oh no, glitter. But so tomorrow I go on a two hour drive south of where I live to go to a leadership training. It's like management to leadership, like how to be a leader and how to manage this stressful, crazy, multifaceted job and, and 
I'm looking forward to that other than sitting still for that long because that's horrible for my pain. I feel like the more I'm, I have a lot, I feel like my, I have a lot of issues that are like arthritic in nature that like sitting still is really bad for me and it increases my pain and the more I keep, oh my hand's shaking, it's like, Twisting. See, this was one of my first symptoms. Before my whole body, it was like this. I'm not doing it, it's doing it on its own. Damn it. It's own. But, um, ooh, sitting still makes my pain worse. And it's a big day of it. But anyways, I hope you guys feel slightly less alone. <laughs> and I look forward to talking to you guys again. And I thank you for making me feel not alone either. So have a good evening. Oh my gosh, I'm like... I'm going to bed early. It's only 7.45, but I'm like, forget it. Oh yeah, long days, busy, go, 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 la, la, la. All right. Anyways, I'm growing out my gray, by the way. It's, uh, I got a streak coming in here. There's another one. It's kind of hard to see, but another one's growing in right here. It's kind of nice. I don't hate it. Ooh, there. It's cool, it's like two stripes, like my great-grandmother on my mom's side of the family. So on that note, I'm going to go before it's 20 minutes because I'm so long-winded and a bunch of nothing. Oh, take care of yourselves. I'm embracing my bed. I have really bad back spasms, so I will talk to you guys later. Good night, everybody.